again, guys. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Today, we want to talk about company sensitive information, how that impacts you. How that impact, impacts your company's business. Um, a lot of times we'll be on Facebook and we'll see people tagging themselves or, you know, saying they have arrived at a certain customer and posting that personal uh, company sensitive information online. You got to be careful with that stuff because mm -hmm. there, there's people out there that are looking for new businesses to acquire, you know, the new customers. And your company has put a lot of time and effort into obtaining these customers and to have drivers just be given that information out free to everybody, you know, it, it's, it, it can be damaging to your company. Not only that, but also impacts your safety and other drivers' safety. Oh, absolutely. You've got to be very careful. A lot of the places that you go to, I'm sure you've seen no photography. You can't have cameras, no recording devices. You know, a lot of companies take that very seriously. Not only the company you drive for, but these companies you're going to. They don't want their information out to other companies. Right, right. This is something we're always really careful with as, as uh, YouTubers, you know. Yeah. We, we never ever try to show company names or, or even film on locations. Mm -hmm. And if we do, we're in the truck uh, where you can't tell where we're at. Mm -hmm. Or if there's somewhere that we can film where we film outside, if there's any company info in that video, I usually will blur that out so you can't see it. Right, right. Just for protection, you know, to protect ourselves, to protect others, because you never know who's watching that. Yeah. Putting that information out on the internet, it just makes easy, it makes it easier for people to obtain that information, you mm -hmm. know. Like I said, you know, your company's salespeople spend a lot of time and effort to obtain these customers. It, it's not like um, they just called up uh, your company one day and wanted them to do deliveries. They got salespeople that go out and, you know, kind of wine and dine, I guess you could call sometimes, to get these big accounts. And it's really not the kind of information you should be sharing on Facebook. And I mean, it, it could it could on, honestly hurt your opportunity for business. Yeah. You know, because if there's other people out there that say, oh, wow, that's a company I never thought of. Uh, I'm going to go check them out, you know, and see if I can't get their business. Well, guess what? I just took away uh, money out of your pocket, your company's pocket, and other drivers' pocket. Yeah, if you if you follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you'll notice we don't ever tag where we're at no. unless we're some like right now. You know, we're in a campsite. I think I posted a few things on Instagram, and I'll hashtag where we are. But we're not on a load, and we're not at a customer or a, a shipping or receiving. You know, a, we're not at a at a business. Right. Right. We actually, we have all of our location tracking turned off on our phones. We don't let, you know, Facebook track us to where it'll show where we're at. It's just really important that you're very careful about that. We always try to be very careful, take it very seriously. And whenever we're posting anything, we always try to think about it and, and if it's questionable we don't post it no uh, matter what the footage is yeah and you, you, we go through gosh we watch before we post it online we watch it probably a good 10 15 yeah, times yeah just to just make to sure there's not anything make in sure there that... we're not showing anything we're not supposed to <laughs> yeah <right>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's, it's just we want to talk about it because we know there are a lot of trucker youtubers there's a lot of people that you know post things on Facebook and Instagram and you know it's it's just something that you got to be aware of and you've got to think about right you, you, you know if you've never tried doing sales um, I recommend trying it sometime maybe on your home time go out what one day and just uh, see if you can't get some business for your company and just see what kind of uh, crap really uh, what that salespeople go through you, they get their door door closed in their face probably 80% of the time and then these customers that they do gain is that other 20% so mm -hmm. you know the the hard work that these salespeople put into you, you just don't know it and then to have the drivers just posting oh well, well I delivered to this place this place and and 
and this goes for even the big shippers that use everybody like Nissan you know Nissan and in Tennessee Smyrna Tennessee I think everybody's been there mm -hmm. in expediting but you don't want other people knowing your company's going there it opens a door for for people that didn't know about Nissan to go uh, go try to take some of that business and you know it's not like we're trying to hi uh, hide customers from anybody <laughs> no. you know it, it, it's we're, we're protecting the value that our company has put into obtaining that customer not only that like, I want to give a situation like Jason's talking about let's just say like Nissan <laughs> or, or I'll tell you a situation we did this has been many years ago we were doing a delivery to the Corvette plant in Kentucky yeah and they this is back when they were coming out with the new body style of the corvette we were delivering something for their new corvette body style well they don't want that information out they're very secretive about when they're making these new vehicles if we would have been like oh yeah we're hauling such and such for corvette and we're putting it all over online taking pictures of what we were delivering and yeah not only could we get in trouble with our carrier we could get in a big trouble with who does them gmc G gmc <laughs> yeah the car manufacturer GM. you know um corvette might not ever you would have used panther again yeah you know? we and don't that want a lawsuit of because we're giving out their company sensitive information right, you know there's right. a lot of situations there's a lot of freight i mean there's a lot of general freight that you know who cares they don't care but there's a lot of companies that do care and do, do not want that information out right now we, sh we show a lot of stuff of what we do, putting the jack stands down, opening the door, backing mm -hmm. up to a dock, but we go through this information and we make sure we're not, um, a company's name ain't on the door that we're backing up to. Or... Yeah. That's a lot of reason why we don't say exactly what we're hauling, right, you know? Right. We, we don't tell you exactly what it is unless we know it's okay to talk about. Right. We don't say, oh, we're hauling this commodity for this customer and we're going here. You know, we're very cautious about that. And I know not everybody does YouTube and you might think, well, it's my right and, you know, I have the right to talk about it. But, you know, it's, you really got to think about it. Is it worth your job? Is it worth, I mean, know? here's a, here's the thing to think about is if, you're posting this out there on the internet for anybody to see, for instance, in a group or something. There could be, who knows, terrorists. Let's use terrorists, for instance, you know, mm -hmm. in the group secretly uh, watching to see where people are going and dropping off and picking up. Then they can go scout those places out. So it really causes us mm -hmm. a safety and a security problem for not just you but everybody you never know what's what's being watched out there on the internet and you, you really got to be careful to safeguard your company's information and your customers and your safety as well for your safety and it, it might seem stupid to you you know but it, it all it takes is that one time that one time for it to happen to somebody and mm -hmm. I don't know how I deal with you know if something I shared on the internet caused the the harm to another driver or person you know mm -hmm. just the the possibility of it happens it, it really makes us try to work extremely hard especially since we post on the internet all the time this yeah, is yeah. this is something we are very very cautious about and we have to be yeah for your safety and ours you know it, mm -hmm. it's it's all about the safety out here mm -hmm. we're you know we live in a very dangerous world these days so yeah it, it just keeps keeps getting crazier and crazier yeah so just be mindful when you are posting what you're posting keep yours and other people's and company information uh, you know private if, if it's questionable maybe don't post it yeah if, if you even have to ask yourself if, if it's okay to post it don't post it yeah you know just uh, just don't do it so yeah. If you guys got any other tips, you know, uh, about uh, per safeguarding and protecting company information. Yeah, leave, leave them down below. Yeah. We'd love to read those and yeah. share them with others. So thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.